and welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Batman Arkham Asylum on Steam. I am one well sheep yet again and today ladies and gentlemen we're going to hit find the secret hidden lab in the gardens and uh, also go through one of the more unique and actually more frustrating style sequences in, um, bleh, in the game. Well that is if you have no idea what you're doing anyway. But first things first you just need to scan that one stool stool bench because a bench has Tom and Martha Wayne you know Batman's parents engraved as like a uh, well you know you know how they have a whenever you go to certain places you sometimes see uh, benches and whatnot and they have like a sort of in memory of you know because Tom and Martha Wayne spoiler alert have died you know so uh, I don't know I, I just, I, I'm just I don't know why it's in the asylum it's a weird ass place for a commemorative chair to be put but and I digress. Anyway, it looks like this guy's in trouble, so it's time to lay the beat down, if you will. And this room by here is actually quite an interesting room, at least for me, because if you actually look, we have a new mechanic below there, which is a new type of bomb that we need to detonate using the crypto whatever thingy. And uh, basically, if you don't do, if you don't detonate it in time, bad stuff happens. So uh, yeah, there is that. Can you cut me free? Thanks. Are you okay? I'm fine. I eat punks like these for breakfast. What were they doing in here? The ones that weren't hitting me went over there and started doing something to the power controls. I have no idea what they were doing. So yeah, that's basically a little hint to say be careful because these new power controls here are sabotaged, which means if we fail the event in order to open up the doorways, you know, and basically if we fail our crypto thingy, then we will get killed, I think? You know, I honestly have never failed these things, which is, um, so I honestly have no idea what they do if they actually go off. But I did come close to failing this, and as you can tell, it takes three unlocks in order to unlock one of these sabotage power control thingies. So uh, just be a bit careful, be on your guard, and uh, take care of them whenever you see them. But one one of the reasons why I find this room kind of interesting is there's actually a hidden extra area right above that control point that uh, isn't very apparent at first. Like you can sort of see a ladder right below, but you know, there's this little security gate. I it's taken me such a long time to realize how to get in there and it's simply it's it's as simple as ignore all these power couplings on the floor that you can see through your detective vision and just climb up to the gate and the power thingy to open up the gate is literally right behind it there's this has taken me so long to work out in the past because I never really thought oh I need to go up here and then unlock it from the inside now I don't think it's actually possible to unlock this without the crypto thingy range amplifier that you can get upgraded if you have enough experience. So like I said when I first mentioned getting that upgrade, you want to get it as soon as possible and mix things a hell... What cop? What co-op? I don't know. Basically you need to get that upgrade as soon as physically possible. That's what I'm mainly getting at ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to my humble abode. What cop? What cop? That cop. Where on? Where? 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 There on the stairs. I don't know what, what I was sort of thinking there. I was sort of thinking of like a musical break with that, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I be a good singer? Should I be a musician among musicians or what? <laughs> but anyway, now that we have actually destroyed that uh, amplify electrical power control thing. We can actually go back to that water that the Joker decided to shock and electrify and just simply progress straight through. Now whenever we go past that uh, little bit of water you will need to be a bit careful however because after a while I believe it does, by the way tea party thing there, scan for riddle. I do believe that after a while it does become electrified again. I don't know if it's if you progress of the plot becomes electrified or what but basically once we go across this uh, little pathway we will not be able to return until we get hold of a brand new power up that we should be getting not too long actually fairly shortly into the game yeah it doesn't turn on right away so I assume after the next cutscene so the uh, electricity will turn back on and the water will become shocking again Certainly I was shocked enough to find that out my first playthrough. <laughs> uh, 
If anyone doesn't like my puns, feel free to vent your frustrations in the comments below. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, amongst this web of excitement, let's just continue moving through here, and uh, if we take a little corner that's actually surprisingly hard not to miss, basically that you shouldn't miss that Riddler trophy at all, that is right out in the open. If you miss that trophy, then you were either unlucky or you're blind. I'm going to take my chances on unlucky, or you could be doing uh, what I tend to do in games whenever I get bored of them, I just go into autopilot mode and just sort of... I don't know, have any of you guys ever actually had that sort of issue where you go into autopilot mode into a game and you just sort of mong out, so you're playing the game, and you don't really think at all, which... I've had a couple of games where that's happened to me and then I completely lose track of what's going on because, uh, well, I don't really expect it. You know, I don't I don't really pay attention to the game, what I'm really getting, trying to say here. But anyway, new area by here. This is another one of those areas where we are not able to grapple up to the latest point above us. However, we do need to keep vigilant because there are mainly... I think there's two? It could be more, I'm not actually sure. But I think there's two um, Riddler trophies in this area. There's two that I know of, at least. And the first one of which is down here, simply in this water pipe here. You know, just do, just do what, no, what any Mario brother would do. Come down here, insert a little bit of a... Sound effect. Yes, that was my impression of the Mario pipe sound effect. And uh, yeah, just pick it up. Easy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. However, there is one Riddler trophy right by there, and we won't be picking it up right away. We will be picking it up in a bit because it. Honestly, I actually got lost trying to find out how to get this Riddler trophy in the past. What you have to really do is there's one tiny grate hidden away that you can go underneath. You will see me pick it up, so don't worry, it will be shown off, but there is one tiny grate that you can go underneath, and whenever you go underneath that grate, then you'll be able to lure yourself into the cage and pick up the Riddler trophy. Very annoying one to pick up, I do not like it, just because it takes me so damn long to find the right way, and honestly, I do a little bit of fumbling around in this area, and I everyone I see do with it. A playthrough of this game every single time without fail I see people fumble around in this area getting lost getting confused having no idea what's going on so don't worry if you get lost here folks it's pretty normal all things considered another mutation if Joker's making these monsters he hasn't perfected the formula yet I need to hurry don't worry, I'm pretty sure he won't be perfecting the formula anytime soon. He may perfect it in time for maybe the next boss fight, perhaps? Possibly, maybe. Hmm. Although, I find that's really weird. Like, he says that the Joker hasn't really perfected the... Oh, there's three Riddler trophies. Okay, I forgot about this one. He says the Joker hasn't perfected the um, serum yet that he's been given his troops. The thing that confuses me about this is... We've been fighting Titan mooks throughout the course of the entire game, so where have they been coming from? Are they just sort of... Then again, I know the first mook died of a heart attack when we fought him, so maybe he's just trying to sort out that issue, I suppose. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It's either a plot hole or I'm overthinking things. But a uh, bit of a jump cut ahead here, because I did spend about a good 30-40 minutes in this area, just sort of wandering around. And uh, we do need to come back to this area later on, so... You know, if you need to collect things, don't you fret. Do not fret. Now, I have no idea where this rat catcher riddle is at the minute. At least I can't remember if I have picked it up or not. But, uh, of course, that will be shown off in the Riddler video, which... Of course, like I said, I'm doing. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Batman, yo! I'm not even trying to do the Batman voice anymore. Maybe I should give Batman Luigi's voice, so... Hello, I'm a Batman, number one! Oh boy, ho oh ho! Actually, that would be pretty dope. I, I, that would be totally rad. I would love that. Just running around. Are you okay? Are you okay? I look okay. They were gonna kill me. We were in the aviary hiding out, and they came in with Joker shooting up the place and loaded us into cages. Are they still in there? No, man. No one's come out since. You got to help them. Stay here. Ah oh, no, Mamma Mia! Not another task for old Luigi. I mean, a Batman. Oh no! <laughs> oh. 
I love doing that voice. I'm sorry. I, I have to do that every now and then. But with that, now we need to go into the next stealth sequence of the game, ladies and gentlemen. And as I said previously, by the way, a bit of a mad dog uh, riddle here. What we need to do with this particular style sequence is something different. Now, in all the previous style sequences we've taken on up until this point, we've had to basically kill everyone we came across. You now, we just had to knock them all out and work on. Well, we didn't kill them because we're Batman and Bat Batman doesn't kill. Oh, no. But um, what we need to do by here is we need to basically get through this entire style sequence and kill that one guy in the balcony up there that you can see right now without being seen. If we get seen, Joker's men, well, let's just say they'll go, they'll go nuts and they'll just, they'll, they'll kill the guys, the hostages that are in the cages, you know, folks. So we do need to be extra stealthy. We need to be extra careful. Now, I have no idea what's stopping them from killing the uh, guys in the cages after the main mook in the tower disappears. I, d I don't know why they just decide not to afterwards, but... Eh, I don't know. Maybe they maybe they just don't get paid enough. They get paid purely to listen to that one guy and nothing more. I don't know. That's my two cents about it. I, I, maybe someone can enlighten me on that, or maybe it's just a gameplay contrivance that I just have to deal with. I don't know. Either way, just go to this particular event right here. It's very easy to find, and you'll be easily you'll easily find your way up. It's Honestly, once you when you when you know where to go, this isn't a hard style sequence at all. This is actually one of the easiest in the game. But your first playthrough, it will be one of the hardest in the game purely because you want to know where to go. You want to know the enemy patterns. You want to know the safest way to go and kill these mooks. For example, now we're safe enough to just boop in this guy, boop, and yes. Now annoyingly, I actually created quite a bit of noise when I did that. So one of these enemy mooks just came up here and just shot me, which is not cool. But uh, if you're smart about how you deal with these guys, you can usually um, you can usually take them, take care of them without them killing you whenever they come up to you. Like um, I think I ju yeah I just about survived this. I don't know how through some miracle I managed to survive this. So you know, see even the dog is amazed that I'm surviving this. This is like, when my own dog just barks and makes a comment in a let's play because of something that's insane because of my ultimate un stoppable video gaming skill prowess you know I should have died <laughs> but no whenever whenever once you kill the main uh, big bad mook at the top of the tower then we just basically we just need to finish off the rest of these guys although be careful because as soon as um, these enemies are done they will go back on their standard routes and if you're smart enough about how you handle this you can sort of pull them off the ledge and uh, basically, if you're smart about this, you can take them down without any effort whatsoever. Actually, one of the things I kind of love about the style sequences in this game in particular is... You basically, if you can think of a way to take on an enemy, think of a way to do something, more than likely, you're going to be able to do it. It's kind of a similar reason why uh, Assassin's Creed... You know, I'm not a big fan of those games. I, there's a reason why those games tend to be loved by a lot of people. And arbitrarily, the guys that are stuck just magically come down when all the mooks kill. Interesting. But yeah, one of the things I like about that series, one of the only things I like about that series, apart from Black Flag having a, having a Welsh guy as the main character, is um, the stealth. You can basically, if you think you can attack someone from somewhere, more than likely you'll be able to. And I don't know, I like that in a stealth game. Adds extra options to your arsenal, if you will. I can't stand heights. I'm sorry. I thought I was working for Dr. Young. I had no idea Joker was involved until he burst in the lab. Where is the lab? Back over there. I always get buzzed through. There's a hidden door, but, well, you know, it's hidden. I'll find it. Stay here. Don't worry, I have fingerprint vision. I'll find it. So yeah, basically now we just need to remember that we took advantage of Harley Quinn's hands well now we need no, that's a weird sentence I thought I'd say well now we need basically need to follow her fingerprint trail to find this hidden doorway and honestly the hidden doorway is not that hard to find at all however before we go there straight off I want to find a particular Riddler challenge guy thing which is a uh, Usually I find it quite tricky to find he's very easy because to find because he is in this big massive room 
But I don't know, I usually have a little bit of issues finding the guy. In particular, I need to scan for it. So, uh, basically, what if you want to get that Riddler trophy, Riddler trophy, Riddler riddle, sorry, you do need to look up the up on the walls of the ceiling and whatnot and uh, keep detective vision on, mode on. I'm being an idiot and turned it off. And he will just glow whenever you're looking near him as most of the enemies and whatnot do. And, uh, yeah, there is that, there is that. So, where's the guy, where's the guy? Ah, there he is! So, just zoom in, scan this bloke, and we are done and dusted. He could say, kill a moth. Had the floor mothed up with him. Ah, moth, mop, get it. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it don't hurt me. But anyway, now it's time for the last of the crypto thingy what's it sequence of things in this part. And uh, we're going to get used to seeing these, I think, throughout the course of the game. We don't see them that often, but uh, you do need to be careful whenever they do show up. Because as soon as you start hacking into it, then the timer will cut, cut down. And basically, the indicator that you're running out of time will be the lights. If the lights start flashing quicker, then... That is indicating that you are running out of time and eventually it will boom, explode, gas you, whatever the hell the thing does. And, uh, that's no good. I don't know what it does to you, but that's no good. But anyway, there's the hidden doorway opened up. So when we return next time, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be entering this doorway. We'll be getting a brand new power-up and, uh, be progressing through the rest of the game. So yeah, thank you all for watching, people. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't be sheepish and I'll catch you all next time. Bye!